Hi guys, I'm doing another acrylic pouring video today. Normally my acrylic pouring that has been on my YouTube channel has been over on my astronomy channel because I've used it to create space art. This isn't really a space art thing so I'm putting it on this channel instead. Now, I have watched a lot of videos on Mixed Media Girls YouTube channel pouring acrylic paint onto some clear plastic baubles. I'm going for a black, white and silver kind of marbly effect, that's what I've got going on in my head. I use the Left Brained Artist paint calculator to calculate how much paint I need. For my pouring medium today, I'm using a mixture of glue and water. That's just bog standard PVA glue mixed with water. I've done all the calculations to figure out how much of each colour I need and how much of the paint versus medium and then add water to consistency. I want this to be fluid enough, obviously, that it will run down, but not so fluid that it kind of loses the structure. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball it when it comes to consistency. Um, I've not used glue and water as a medium before, so I'm just going to have to just figure out by look to find out whether this is going to be the right consistency. The baubles are on upside down funnels, basically so that once the paint has run down there, I can lift them over and put them on another rack to dry and then I can tilt the canvas and get a painting out of it. Any paint that runs off on the, the funnels will peel off and I'll be able to use that in jewellery making. So I've wiped those down with isopropyl alcohol so there should be no grease on them. So yeah, I've just got to weigh the paint in the pouring medium and get mixing. Okay, I'm going to start with black and for the black, oh, my scales will work, my scales won't work. Okay, I'll be back when I've got a scale from downstairs that does work. Okay, now I have some scales that are working. So zero that, I'm going to start off with the black. For the black, I should only need about 20 grams of paint because I don't want this to be too dark. So 20 grams of paint means it'll be 5 grams of paint, 10 grams of the pouring medium and then water to consistency. So it's not very much paint. Whew, so out of breath because I had to go downstairs for the scales. <laughs> okay, pouring medium. That's a little bit more but that's okay. So I want 10 grams of this mixture. Give that a really good mix. I normally use Floetrol as a pouring medium, but it's really, really expensive. You can buy a massive tub of PVA glue for a fraction of the price and mix that with water. And um, I've seen people use it on YouTube and get a really good result out of it. So hopefully that will be okay with me. This is a little bit thick. So I'm going to just add a tiny bit of water at a time to that, put the lid back on my glue. You can kind of do the, the calculations, but every paint will be a slightly different fluidity, so you kind of have to eyeball it when it comes to adding water to these mixtures. The important thing is that all of your paints are consistent with the um, consistency. <laughs> Otherwise, they're going to behave differently towards each other. I think that's still a little bit thick, so I'm just going to add a tiny bit more. Okay, I think the consistency is okay on the black, so I'm going to carry on and do that for all of my other colours and then I'll be back. The paints are all mixed, they're now all the same consistency. The light silver was the runniest, there's no water being added to that, so um, that was already the consistency that I was looking for. So I had to make all of the others match that, so I just added water to those. Now what I'm going to do is layer this, and I want really thin layers of the different paints. So when I pour it out over the ornaments, it will create hopefully a really nice sort of marbled type of pattern. Just hoping I've got enough paint here because this doesn't look like a lot. The baubles are not very big but the canvas isn't very big either but it still feels like there's not enough here. 
I'm using less black than the other colours because black can really take over. When I'm doing space art, I'm fine with that, but for something Christmassy, I don't really want that to happen. The colour that you pour into the cup first will be the last one to come out. Try not to pour it all over the desk. So I'm just going to go back and cycle through those colours again until all of the paint is in this cup. If I need to mix up some more to add to the canvas I can do that. This isn't going to dry fast enough that this matters. I've got time to mix more paint if necessary. I do have a lot of air bubbles in the silver. So that's all the paint layered inside. Oh, I'm excited but so nervous. Okay, here goes. I'm just going to do a kind of tree ring technique. So I'll start on this one at the back. I'm just going to pour slowly, making little circles as I do it. Metallic paint is reacting really nicely with the other colours. I'm kind of over mixing and looking quite marbly, which is what I wanted. So I'm just moving from bauble to bauble just to get them started and leave the paint to run down a bit. So many air bubbles though, gosh. I don't know if my torch is working to pop them all. some funky patterns there but I can see for sure that there isn't enough paint to cover that canvas underneath so while they drip down for a little bit I'm gonna just mix up a bit more paint once I lift those off I can then pour directly onto the canvas and that'll mix in okay with that kind of marbling I'll be back in a moment I've laid up some more paint these have ended up darker than I wanted them to be so I'm just going to pour over them I've missed out the darker grey metallic I've just got a bit of black a lot of white and a lot of the pale silver and I'm just gonna it doesn't matter if I get full coverage with this because it will blend anyway so I'm just gonna go over these again and just lighten them up a little bit They're pretty, but they're a little too dark. I'm sorry if you're yelling at me for ruining these. <laughs> just, they're very pretty, they're just not what I wanted, so I'm just going over them again. I'm 
just going to leave those to run for a couple of minutes and then I will be back to pour the rest of this paint in onto the canvas and tilt. Okay, I'm going to carefully try to move these now. I've got another rack with parchment paper on, so I'm just going to set those down there. Any other drips that come down, if they're big enough, I'll be able to peel them off, as I say, and use them. The stuff that's run down the funnel will be able to be used for jewellery as well. I just quickly run over these with my um, torch to get rid of some of the air bubbles on the baubles. My torch isn't working properly, but I managed to pop some of them. Okay, this is where we see that my box is not level <laughs> at all. Okay, so some massive air bubbles there. I'm just going to pour this on. love that. That looks like the surface of a giant gas planet. That could be a black and white picture taken by the Juno space probe of Jupiter. It's so pretty. So, so pretty. I love the way that that has over mixed and created that real feel of I really do think it looks like Jupiter. It could be the edge of one of Jupiter's storm systems or oh, it's just so pretty. So, so pretty. And that's just the over mixing from all the paint running down the funnels and stuff first. Take you over to uh, the baubles. Okay, excuse the mess. Um, <laughs> this is a multi-purpose room, so I have many things here. Still got Halloween stuff out. So the baubles have again got that very nice marbly effect. That paint will continue to run down the funnel, but they should dry pretty quickly because it's just a really thin layer of paint once it all runs down. Hopefully they will look good when they're dry. So I will come back when everything is dry. And these are the baubles. They're not sealed yet, they are dry, but I'm going to leave them to fully cure for another couple of days and then I'm going to spray them with a spray sealer. I haven't bought that yet, but I'm probably going to go with the Rust-Oleum Crystal Clear. Um, I've got my lamp pointing at these so that you can try to see some of the shine. The patterns are really pretty. The air bubbles were a bit of a nightmare though. I still have lots of air bubbles in these that have now dried and there's not really a lot I can do about it. But no, for a first try at doing this um, technique, I think they turned out pretty cool. They are darker than I thought, even though I went over them again with a lighter paint. Um, lesson learned there, black and dark gray always take over. I know this, but I still fell foul of that anyway. But yeah, they're so, so pretty. I love the marbling and the sparkles there as well because there's mica powder in the, the silver shades. There's a lot of really nice, not glitter, but that really nice fine sparkle that you get with those metallics. So I think they're really pretty. Once they're sealed, I'll put the hanging things back on them. I don't want to keep taking them on and off because they're plastic and I'm worried about breaking them. So this is the painting dried. I really love this. The board did warp a little bit, but it quite often does if you use these sorts of cheap canvas boards. You can dampen it and squash it back down into shape, which I will do when I'm confident that it's fully dry. But I just love the details in here. It really does look like it could be a Juno cam image of Jupiter in monochrome or some other kind of gas giant planet. It's so pretty. What you can't see on camera is 
the sparkle. There's a lot of mica powder in the metallic paints and they shine so beautifully in the light and the camera just doesn't pick that up. But I just love the overall effect on this painting. It's so pretty. If I want to make more pendants, some of the skins have already dried and you can see that pretty marble kind of pattern on them. So these will go in my folder where I keep all of my acrylic pouring skins and when I think of a project that needs this colour scheme, I love that one, that's so pretty. Um, yeah, the, these can look like kind of polished semi-precious stones when you put them onto cabochons, so loads of potential there. And also, um, the paint hasn't fully dried yet, but on the silicone mat inside my pouring box, there is loads of really awesome looking paint. And some of this, I added some white and marbled it a little bit more. But you can see these are not dry yet, but when they are dry, I'll have some really nice big skins there with lots of um, lovely patterns on them. So they'll take a few days to dry because the paint is quite deep in a couple of those places. So I did this painting on Saturday. It's now Monday and most of the skins are dry, but the bit in the middle is still shiny. So I'm going to keep these somewhere safe so the cats don't jump in them <laughs> and uh, let those fully dry. And then once they're fully dry, I'll peel them off and put them between parchment paper and put them in my folder where I keep all the others. So the other thing I did with some of the paint that had run off the canvas is um, get these glass cabochons and rather than waiting for the skins to dry and then glue them on, I just dipped these, I put a bit of masking tape on the back of the beads or the cabochons, dipped them into the runoff paint and then set them upside down to dry. You really struggle to photograph these because they're basically massive lenses and they show every light source in the room but these are really pretty and because I've dipped them directly it'll be like the ones that I hand paint there's no risk of having those pesky air bubbles that um, sometimes come onto these when you've stuck them down with Mod Podge so yeah I think they're really pretty so they'll make some nice earrings and necklace pendants so it's a week since I did the acrylic pouring on these baubles and this is the paint skin that was left underneath the canvas. It's now fully dry so I thought you might enjoy watching me peel this off. This is really really fun to do. These are quite chunky pieces but it's so satisfying to peel them off. I'm going to have a lot of black and white pendants camera doesn't pick up the shine though as I said earlier oh this is so satisfying okay let's tear that across still a tiny bit damp underneath I'm going to leave that one there I think it's still a little bit tacky Okay, we can get these ones off though. Nice. So it's interesting that that's the design that you see on the top but actually quite often the other side can look nice as well you get a very different pattern it's picked up a bit of yellow from a previous pour but the patterns on both sides can be really nice so it's worth looking at both just to see whether you can get something from uh, the other side that you prefer if you're making jewelry so let's have a go at this one this one may also be a bit chunky but we'll see I actually put a little bit of white on the top of this one and wiggled it around with a cocktail stick so it had a kind of marbled effect. Ah.
that will make an awesome pendant but so will the rest of these they're just so pretty the underneath is over mixed a lot on that one so so yeah that that will make a really really pretty pendant I'm gonna put a glass bauble on top of that a glass um, cabochon I just grabbed one of my glass cabochons to show you so if you can glue that onto there that will make a really really pretty pendant or bracelet tend to glue that on with Mod Podge and then weigh it down so I will put the glue on put them down like that and then put a book on top of it so that you don't get any air bubbles when it dries but that'll look really nice Ooh, pretty cool there are lots of smaller dots around the outside of the, the mat. If they've got a nice pattern on, I keep those as well, because even though this little bit looks like you couldn't do much with it, I actually have some really small glass cabs, which you can just glue that onto the back of, and then you can make earrings with those. They're not too heavy because they're small. So this is why I have so many paint skins in my folder, because I find it hard to throw any of it away, because you can do stuff with it. Obviously, I'm not going to sit and make 100 pairs of earrings right now, but you just never know if you get a commission or if you just fancy making something in that pattern. Obviously, black and white isn't to everyone's cup of tea, but whatever paint you use, if you collect it on a mat like this, you can create all kinds of things with it. So I just keep them in a folder separated by parchment paper and they're just waiting there ready for when you want to make some jewellery. So I'm going to have a look at all of these little dots around the outside here and if I think any of them are worth saving then I will do so. These are the smallest glass cabochons that I have and you can see they're tiny so that means there's a lot of your paint that can be used on those. Oops, that was shot. So these make really nice earrings or a small pendant. And, you know, it's just good to not waste the paint. So I'm going to, as I said, I'm going to use the little, the smallest cab that I have. And I'm just going to go and check all of these dots and see if any of them are actually worth keeping. So here are the baubles all finished. I haven't added the ribbon to them yet, but I've got some lovely silver ribbon that I think will work really well with them. They look really blue on the photograph, but they're not. They're actually a really kind of dark grey with the lovely kind of sparkly silvery bits in them. I'm really pleased with how they turned out for my first go at doing pouring on baubles. There were a lot of air bubbles and because those air bubbles have dried all over the surface of the baubles if I put a spray sealer on them I think it's going to collect around those little areas and that will look terrible and I don't want to ruin them paint on its own acrylic paint makes a pretty solid film anyway and this is mixed with PVA glue so I think they're in no danger of the paint coming off so as long as I'm careful not to kick them around anything prickly I'm sure they'll be absolutely fine so I hope you enjoyed the video and enjoyed me doing this for the first time so take care everybody and I'll see you in my next video don't forget to like and subscribe bye for now